Hi, this is John from Super Steer, and today we're going to be installing a rear quad shock kit on a 1998 Chevrolet P32 Trek. Okay, so we're going to start by installing the main upper cross tube, and you can see I've already attached this bracket on the right hand side loosely um, just to help uh, ease installation. So we'll put it up over top of the frame and it's going to sit right up against this cross member right here this plate will be right up against that cross member and let's get our second plate in on this side and we've got two half inch bolts and we're just going to put everything together loosely until we get it where we want it. Be careful of electrical wires and brake lines. Make sure you have plenty of clearance around the brackets. Next we have the lower frame bracket that uh, we use. Uh, it looks, if it looks familiar, it's the same part that we use on our track bars uh, to attach them to the frame. So this is going to set right on the bottom of the frame. And our bolts are going to go up through into that top plate. Just kind of snug things up here for now. Okay, and then we'll put this plate on. So this bracket will not only pinch the bottom of the frame, it'll also pinch the uh, inside and outside edges of the frame too with these set bolts. So this gives us our upper mounting points for our second set of shocks that we're gonna install. Now on this coach, the reason we're doing this is it feels unstable, feels top heavy, and the ride quality is not that good. So we're going to add a second set of Kony FSDs to this Trek. All right, so next we're going to remove our lower shock bolts. This is on the factory shock mounting point. So we're going to pull these out, and we'll be reusing these up on the top. So what we're going to replace that with is our machine stud here. It's going to slide right in there where the old shock mounted. Reinstall our nut and lock washer. And we'll go ahead and tighten that up. And we'll do the same thing on this side. You want to tighten these up to about 100 foot-pounds. Okay, now that we've got our lower mounts tightened, our upper mounts loosely in place, we're going to go ahead and install our second set of shocks. That'll just slide onto that stud. We'll get our top to line up here. Okay, so we got our top bolt through there. We'll get our nut and washer started on there. And let's do the other side. Okay, once again, we'll slide our shock into place. Get our nut and washer on there. And then we'll get this top lined up. Get the bolt in here. Okay, now that we've got our shocks in place. We'll go ahead and tighten up our mounting bolts. Okay, and here again we're going to want to finish torquing these about 100 foot-pounds, both ends of that stud. Now we're going to tighten up these upper mounts. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and tighten up these lower mounting bolts. And as we do this, we're going to just snug these up fairly snug, and then we'll check our set bolts, make sure they're snug as well, kind of tighten them both up at the same time. And we'll 
We'll tighten up these set nuts here to keep these bolts from coming loose. Okay, lastly we're going to tighten up our four bracket bolts. All right, so we've got our quad shock kit mounted on the back of this uh, 1998 Trek. This is really going to help the stability. Um, these coaches have a tendency to want to sway quite a bit, so anything you can do to help sway. They come with an inch and three quarter factory sway bar. We've added a track bar. We put some easy crews on it and done a few things to, to help it, but with these shocks, it really does help the ride and the control. So. Thank you.